we are back in the kiln room. We are getting ready to get this glazed. Uh, as you can see, I have some very small kiln shelves in here. They're a little bit wonky. Let's all keep our fingers crossed that this does not collapse in the load today. I tried my best. Um, what's happened is my shelves for this kiln are still wet. I've been, I had to put some new kiln wash on them so things wouldn't stick, but I cannot get them to dry because it is just so wet outside. So I took the little baby shelves from the little baby kiln over here and kind of organized it so that I could fit all of your work in one load. It would not fit in that kiln. And remember I told you this clay shrinks at about 11 or 12 percent. Well look how small your work has gotten since we built it in the bowl. Yes, it has shrunk a considerable amount and it will shrink some more. We're going to look at this again when we're done to see just how much it shrunk towards the end. So uh, the next time you see these, they are going to be beautiful. Let's see where we're at here on our kiln. It says idle. It's 86 degrees. So we're going to come over here and we're going to hit cone fire preheat. Yes, I do want to preheat. I'm going to preheat this load for about three hours and hit enter. And cone, we are firing this with glaze firing at 2,232 degrees, which is cone six. I'm going to hit enter speed. This is a glaze firing, so I can go fast. And hold the top temperature. I'm going to hold this for about 15 minutes when it gets to the top temperature. And we're back to idle, which means it's time to start. So as soon as I put that last bowl into the kiln, I am going to start again. My fan is pulling the air down into the kiln, which is giving it that downdraft effect, which is going to make the hot air go all around the pods. All right. Fingers crossed, hope this all works.